Hi guys, welcome back again um, to another video. Today, I'm gonna do something Christmas themed because there hasn't been a lot of Christmas going on in this Vlogmas um, time yet. Um, I know everyone's doing like decorating for Christmas, putting up the Christmas tree, um, but we just haven't gotten to any of that stuff yet. So yeah, it feels like Christmas is fast approaching this year because I think there was like a week less between Christmas and Thanksgiving than there usually is. Um, if I'm wrong about that, please let me know so I don't keep saying that to everyone. But it, I think there was at least a couple days less than there usually is um, between Christmas and Thanksgiving this year. So anyway, um, I want to do something kind of Christmassy themed. So excuse me. I am going to do um, my what's on my December slash Christmas bucket list. Um, and maybe give you guys some ideas of them, some things that you want to do this December. Um, most of these things are pretty standard things that you do in Christmas time. Um, at least for, I would think they were, are because they're just like pretty general, but, um, I would love to hear your guys' ideas of what your traditions are for December or for Christmas, um, or whatever it is that you celebrate. Um, so yeah, let me know. Um, so number one, Christmas shopping. I'm actually probably going to do most of my Christmas shopping online this year, but I just like the idea of like going on a shopping trip with my mother-in-law and her friend who is also, we just call her Aunt Lisa. Um, it just feels like something that you do. I actually have been on one shopping trip with my sister and my cousin. It wasn't really Christmas shopping because it was like before even Thanksgiving, but um, I don't know, it's just like a tradition for us to all go together and do some shopping. So even if I didn't get any Christmas presents while I was out doing that, I would enjoy it, I think. Um, another thing I want to do is decorate our bedroom. Um, not excessively so because I think it would be overwhelming in here to have a ton of Christmas decorations, but I thought it would be nice to make maybe string some lights up and get a wreath for our bedroom door um, because we're not in our own house this year. It is a little different. It's totally fine. Like I love being with my in-laws um, and there's a purpose to this time in our life and all of that. So I'm totally fine. Um, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to throw up some little festive things around our room for Christmas. Um, the next thing is baking Christmas cookies in Washington, in my hometown, where we are from, um, or where I am from, Gavin is from here, but where we were living, we bake Christmas cookies every year with my grandma. It's like a big party kind of thing. We like plan to do it and I won't be home for Christmas this year because we aren't traveling because I'm very pregnant. Um, I'm not like super pregnant now, but by Christmas time I will be too pregnant to travel. So, um, yeah, I won't be at our family Christmas cookie baking party day. So I definitely want to get like some festive Christmas cookie baking in, um, here and yeah, um, surely my mother-in-law and I talked about maybe like having some of Gavin's little girl cousins come over and having a party with them. So I think that would be super fun and like a kind of a fun tradition to bring down here. And next year when baby is here, we can do that with her. Um, Cause she'll be almost a year old by then. Um, the next thing I wanna do is watch White Christmas. I love White Christmas. It's my favorite Christmas movie. Usually we watch it after we put our Christmas tree up in Washington with my parents. Um, it's like tradition to go to the Christmas tree farm all together and then we put their tree up and decorate it and then we watch White Christmas. But this year we actually watched the new Netflix original Christmas movie called Klaus or Klaus and it was super super cute and super good so I highly recommend that and I'm glad we watched that. Um, but we didn't get our White Christmas on so I need to watch that movie before December is up, before it gets to be Christmas. Um, obviously listening to Christmas movies, or Christmas music, tons of Christmas music all month. Um, the next thing I want to do is make some homemade hot cocoa. So I actually 
have this really good kind of healthier hot cocoa recipe with um, cacao powder and maple syrup that is super super good and like organic milk um, so uh, I made that actually like around Halloween time because I was craving it um, and we ran out of cacao so I have some in my Amazon order that's coming Monday which I think is the day this video is going up, so it's coming today. So I will start making that, and if you want, I can make a video on that, um, just a little quick one, or I could make an Instagram post. So follow me on Instagram. Um, oh, we have to decorate our trees. There's one in the living room and one in the family room. So we have to decorate our trees and get all the decorations out. I think we're doing that this weekend. Uh, drink eggnog. I already bought eggnog. They actually have eggless eggnog. Um, I know like raw eggs and that kind of thing is kind of eh for pregnancy. Um, I'm not like super worried about it though because it'll be fine. But um, yeah, so I have been putting eggnog in my coffee. I do want to get like the eggless next time um, just to be safe and just to see how it tastes. Um, see how that goes and drink tons of that because it's Christmas. Um, the next thing we need to do is watch A Christmas Story, which is my husband's favorite Christmas movie. So mine is White Christmas, Gavin's is A Christmas Story. So we need to watch that movie definitely before it is Christmas time, or before Christmas is over. Um, we need to wrap our Christmas presents. A lot of our Christmas presents, again, we're, we're shipping to Washington, so we won't actually get to wrap them. But for the ones down here, we need to wrap them. And I love wrapping gifts. Again, that's like a family tradition. I don't know if this is like normal for everyone else's families. But in my family, all my family is very close. So, like, physically, geographically, we all live very pretty relatively close to each other. My grandparents on my dad's side live like five minutes down the road my grandparents on my mom's side live like 10 minutes down the road and so for Christmas time it's like a big tradition to also go to my grandma's and wrap all our gifts there um because it's kind of like a secret like we all take turns and we can all like go in her den and wrap separately so no one sees each other's Christmas gifts um so when we do it it's kind of like again kind of like a party or like a special thing I don't know um, another thing I really want to do is drive around to look at Christmas lights. Um, that just sounds fun. That's also something we do. Like, um, in Washington, we go to candlelight service every year. And then before candlelight service, we'll drive around and look at Christmas lights. And then we'll go to my aunt's and have hot cocoa and cookies. And then we go to candlelight service every Christmas Eve. Um, so this year, we will go to Christmas Mass with my mother-in-law because she's catholic and so yeah so we'll go to christmas mass but i would love to go around and look at christmas lights christmas mass is also on this list so i'll just knock that off while we're here um i also think it would be fun and like this isn't kind of this isn't festive but i think it would be a good tradition to like have a chris or have a social media detox every december because i feel like um I don't know, I just feel like it would be good for you. So maybe like in the, the couple days leading up to Christmas, like detoxing from social media and just like being really present in those days that lead up to Christmas. Um, I also think we'll probably do one when we go on our baby moon, just like to kind of be really intentional with our time together. <clears throat> so that is on my bucket list for this season. Um, and I think that's going to become another tradition for the holidays. I just think that's nice. Like, it's a good idea to do that. Um, and then I want to make a DIY Christmas ornament. I kind of want to make, like, little, um, there's those little, like, wood dolls. I think Grimm's sells them. You can get them on Etsy, but they're, like, the little wood bodies and the little round wood heads. I thought it would be cute to DIY some of those and make like one for me, one for Gavin, and one for baby. Um, and like maybe, I don't know, like paint them really cute or something like that. And then the last thing we have to do is hang our Christmas stockings. And I actually might need to convince Gavin that we need to find our Christmas decorations in our storage unit, but um, he's sick right now and I don't really wanna ask him to do that right now but maybe next weekend we can 
I can convince him because our, our stockings are in the storage unit and I don't want to go buy new ones because I like our stockings and we ha already have one for Mabel that was mine when I was a baby um, and it matches the ones that we have had for the last couple of years for our house so I don't really want to go buy new ones. I can always like thrift some for this year but that just seems kind of wasteful but it might be hard for us to get to our Christmas decorations so I don't know. Um, we'll see how that goes but definitely we need to hang up our stockings for Christmas. Um, I would write about like I would love to go and visit snow and like have a snow day and it could potentially snow here um, this Christmas but I like we could go to Bend if I wasn't pregnant and go be in the snow for a little while but I think because I'm pregnant Gavin's a little nervous about like driving too far away from home and then also like driving in any sort of bad weather that could potentially be a problem so I'm not I'm not like holding that one too close to my heart this year because I'm not sure it will happen. If it snows here, that would be so fun. I love snow up personally. My husband, he's lived in he lived in Bend like before we met, and so um, I think there the snow is a little bit more extreme than I've ever been around. Like snow, especially when living in on the coast of Washington, we like never get it. Like we get maybe one or two snow days a year. Um, it's just very moderate and like pretty, it's not hot, it's not warm on the coast at all, but it like stays around the same temperature all year round. Um, so we don't really get snow and it doesn't stay around very long when we do. So um, snow is very still exciting to me and like fun. And I think when you live in Bend where it's more extreme, like it's a desert, so they get a lot of snow in the winter and it's very hot in the summer. Um, it's less fun. It's less enjoyable. So Gavin's not as fond of snow as I am, but I would personally love to have a couple of snow days as long as they are before Christmas and not in January when I might be going into labor. So, um, yeah, so that's my Christmas bucket list for this year, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow. I think um, kind of still figuring out how to do, how I want to do this vlogging thing. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, I just don't want to bore you, but I do want to be making content. So this felt like a good, I don't know, way to do that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.